it just uh, was so beautiful. Everything about it. Everything about it. When I first approached David 10 years ago to make these films, it was because I wanted to understand the artists behind the films that I, I fell in love with. To try to kind of understand what drove his imagination. Our first film, Lynch One, I didn't know David at that time. Yeah, there did it. I did it. Look at that. <laughs> There's a shot. Yeah, I stink. That's kind of cool. I called up his assistant, Jason, and asked him, I said, you know, do me a favor, ask David if I could make a film about him. And my friend laughed, and he's just like, no way. He's very private. He's not going to say yes. And uh, a couple days later, he calls me back. He's like, you're not going to believe it. He agreed. So that started Lynch One, the first film. Towards the end of the production, we knew David was kind of getting to a spot in his life where we felt like he was going to open up a little bit more, as people generally do when they get older. So we waited seven years to approach him again. I think every time you do something like a painting or whatever, you 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 go with ideas, and sometimes the past can conjure those ideas. Jason S. is really David's close friend. He's the one that was camped up at David's house. Lynch wasn't somebody who you could schedule with, you know, go, okay, on this date, at this time, we're gonna come and talk to you. We had to kind of have somebody there. Jason was living up there at his house consistently for two and a half years. And generally on the weekends, he'd get a buzz saying, hey, I have a half an hour, come on up. After 10 years of filming David, Jason is the one person in the world that can just get into David's private space without interfering. You can't just walk around his pa painting studio when he's in the creative moment without disturbing him. 